Some of you have been telling me you're really nervous about protecting these lenses on the front, your headset as a whole in case you drop it, and you've been asking what are some different protective covers that we can talk about. We've had a couple of silicone ones, although you might have missed those videos, we can talk about those and compare them to this that is currently less than $10. This is an actual hard shell for the outside. Let's check it out. Apexino, a brand that I've liked some of their other stuff from. Similar idea of these other shells. Basically, it's just adding cover protection for the outside. In this case, it's not customizing it. It's not changing anything about it. It is literally just covering it to give it protection. And this one even covers the actual cameras. So this one snaps into the vent slot without impeding the vents, I would say. At least at a glance, it really does a good job of leaving a seam all the way around. You can even see down inside. And if, if somehow you don't know, the Quest 3 cools by sucking air in and venting it out. And I mean, I think it's pretty obvious if you ever put your hand up here, you can tell it's venting heat out the whole time. The difference in the hard shell is it's obviously actually adding some protection, but it's covering the lenses completely, offering them their own protection. And because it's stuck on, it's not able to slip or slide around, it shouldn't risk blocking up your tracking or covering the vents. That was something we showed you in the videos of these ones. They covered the vents, and although the temperature may not have reached like the boiling point of metal or something, you don't actually really know what's happening on the inside of the headset with the internals when that gets covered up and what that can risk. And with these ones, the part that we were most worried about was how these lenses stick out. And for the most part, these didn't really offer you any protection because they were so thin, they went around it and they didn't really cover it. This one at least stuck out a little bit, but still ultimately the farthest out point on your head set was the actual lenses themselves and not the silicone that's trying to protect it. It definitely makes it very shiny because it's now covered in shiny plastic. It's holding on actually stronger than I would have thought with how little connection it has. You have to find like the right edge to get it back out, but it doesn't just come off easy. Like it's not super easy to unsnap, which gives me some hope for the security of it if it actually came to, you know, hitting things. Like, it's not just popping off with an impact. <laughs> Forbid you actually drop this thing from full height on concrete or something. It may not give you as much protection, but it at least would give you more protection than if you didn't have any. Hmm. Don't try this at home. I'm just trying to see if I can get the thing to pop off, which I have not managed to do yet. I have managed to scratch it up a little bit, although most of the scratches are coming off. Hmm. We're gonna go play around with it. We got some thermal cameras. We're gonna take a look at with this on and off, see if it seems to retain a lot more heat. Although I'm optimistic with how much of that seam is still showing. We'll bring back some heat testing with these and how these ultimately didn't work out. And then also how the problem with a lot of these, unlike this that's snapping in hard, I mean, this thing that's like literally the whole process to putting it on. And it's like, how is that gonna actually really stay on there? Like when you do stuff with a headset, we found pretty quickly in game, it was flopping, it was hanging, and before you knew it, it was falling off. This one at least goes around the side, but even then it didn't hold it tight on. It was still able to get loose and floppy on you quick. So let's go play around with this and see what we can discover with some actual heat testing on it. But so far durability, I mean, it's offering you an extra layer of protection just like a phone case would to the front. We'll be back. Well, I have tried countless different covers for the Quest 3, and I will say first thing, this is the first one I'm considering actually leaving on it, or at least the Quest 3 that I used to demo to friends, especially the ones who would risk dropping the headset more. We already established before, we haven't found a single silicone one we like. They put too much risk at overheating, they don't stay in place, they get in the way of your tracking. Heat on this one didn't seem to make much of a difference, it still was venting fine. It's tricky to get good results though, because like if you go to put this cold plastic cover on while the headset's already warmed up, then you might look at this and be like, oh, it's way cooler now. Well, no, the plastic has to equalize temperature between it and the same thing. When you first took it off, you'd see the plastic on the headset warm, but overall, even after prolonged play, didn't make much, if any, difference to the overall temperature of the headset. Checking tracking, Beat Saber Expert Plus, the headset was doing just as well. Keep in mind though, this is brand new. I just put it on. If you've had this thing around a while, you've banged it up and it's got scratches all over those, that could definitely get in the way of your tracking. Right now, the pass-through still looking through this looks crystal clear. I didn't see it picking up extra glare but that will quickly change if these get beat up or if you get a lot of dust in between the lenses and on the outside so that's an important factor to know like these things you may end up having to replace it down the road if you're someone who really puts your quest through hell because this piece of plastic is probably going to be easier to scratch honestly than the 
covers that they have on there, which hasn't been confirmed because we haven't broken one, but I would guess that's at least scratch resistant acrylic if not actual glass, doesn't really feel like glass, but so hard to tell with Gorilla Glass these days in coatings. Sometimes they feel like plastic even when they are glass. But ultimately, if you are someone who's looking for some protection for your Quest, these types of covers are actually gonna provide some. It's not gonna make your headset indestructible. I wouldn't throw it off a building, but it's something. It snaps on easy. Doesn't come off quite as easily, but if you put it on there, you probably won't be taking off that often. So I'd say, hey, if you're really thinking about it, check it out. It's like nine bucks right now on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description in case you wanna get one for yourself. But it is something I think I'll leave on my secondary quest that I show to friends more often to help protect them from destroying one of my headsets. What do you think out there? Have you found other covers that you've tried, ones that you actually like? Do you actually rock one of the silicone ones and it works for you? It's one that doesn't slip around. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for more stuff to check out for the quest, but I wanna say thank you once again for being here with me. I'll see you in another reality.